In other news tonight, Prime Minister of the Right Honourable Perry Christie says the Progressive Liberal Party is united. The Prime Minister says the PLP has proven its good track record by fixing the mess it met in 2012. He was addressing a joint constituency meeting last evening when he said the party has evolved and upgraded itself but has overcome some insurmountable challenges. Making a bold comparison between the Progressive Liberal Party and Free National Movement, Mr. Christie said the PLP has what it takes to move the country forward. Are you ready for victory? Prime Minister the Right Honourable Perry Christie testing the engines of the PLP machinery last night as he energised supporters in the southwest constituencies of Golden Isle, Southern Shores and Carmichael at their joint meeting. Mr Christie says in his view the PLP has a better team by far. You have a PLP team, T-E-A-M, and the opposition, whether DNA or FNM, they cannot put together one, the kind of team we have, and for that matter, we have no idea whether they can put together any kind of team. There's a PLP team that has already demonstrated it works together to move the country forward. Sticking to the theme of one leader, one party, Mr. Christie says when you look at the opposition, it's hard to believe anything you see because it changes so rapidly. On the flip side, he says the PLP offers stability and unity. One night you see them dancing together, the next night they're calling one of them, the other of them corrupt, or saying they could never in their lifetime work with them together. The point is you have all the evidence you need to know that they are incredibly unreliable and that you cannot make the mistake of relying on them to be able to form a government. The Prime Minister also spoke to Thursday's resignation of opposition leader in the Senate, Branville McCartney, citing this latest move as another clear indication that the opposition is confused and in trouble. He said he couldn't handle the seeds of confusion. Crediting his government for lowering the debt and turning around the country's finances, stirring new investments, doubling education, offering more scholarships, increased border protection, just to name a few, the Prime Minister says they won't allow the country to go backwards by electing an FNM administration. Prime Minister Christie says while change hasn't come fast enough in some areas and many are still hurting, the changes put in place are now beginning to make a difference. He said things are changing. One PLP generation created national insurance. Now we're beginning to have national health insurance. So Lyndon Pending's generation founded the College of the Bahamas and now we're moving forward with this generation, with the University of the Bahamas. Pinling's generation made it a priority to support Bahamian athletes. And now, under this government, we have turned our sporting excellence into sports tourism, expanding in athletic stadiums that were designed by Bahamian architects, built by Bahamian engineers and Bahamian workers, owned by Bahamians with beautiful new facilities that will support a new generation of Bahamian students and Bahamian athletes. These things have happened. These things are happening. The Prime Minister says to put the country into the hands of the opposition, in his opinion, would be a big mistake the country makes. Who demonstrated that they were more concerned about giving cabinet ministers big government contracts. That is so divided and so weak that they will wreck this country while they continue their fight. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.